Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, thank you for the opportunity to address this conference. Difficult times demand bold and wise decisions. People throughout Europe expect from politicians to address the problems and bring solutions and results. But there is no unique recipe and there is no grout button in Brussels. Solutions should be looked for at a national level where the main reasons for our problems lie. Every country should start reforms and work responsibly to deal with its weaknesses by using its strengths. The difficulties have become a driving force to act responsibly, to become more competitive, to create new employment opportunities. The solution that Bulgaria has chosen for itself is fiscal discipline, combined with structural reforms and growth policies. Bulgaria has an extremely low national debt of 16% of GDP and is the only European country to have raised its credit rating during the crisis. We consider that fiscal discipline, not austerity, is important, but it is not enough. Structural reforms and clear national priorities are needed. Priorities help us use our resources more efficiently. Priorities are needed as public funds are limited. We all agree that public money should not be spent, but invested. Some reasonable reforms do not need money and bring win-win solutions. Launching an administrative reform to reduce the cost of doing business, investing in e-government services, energy efficiency, and infrastructure, adopting a proactive approach to support investments, improving the business environment are simple and workable solutions that always make sense. Most of the jobs are created in small and medium-sized enterprises. Supporting them has always been an important factor in terms of growth, economic development and employment. This is where both national and regional economic perspective is created. Innovative and export-oriented small and medium-sized enterprises belong to the best employers in Europe. The ambitious employment objectives of the Europe 2020 strategy are to be achieved in the context of the growing demographic challenges facing Europe. The increasing share of aging population combined with a decreasing share of employable population are challenges for public finance systems and labour markets and must be addressed. Investing in human capital, good education and lifelong learning are important steps in this area. Focusing on value-added and growth-generating industries will create new quality and long-term employment. Addressing the high unemployment rate of the young people in Europe is crucial. Young people deserve not additional mountains of debt, but good job opportunities. We strive for growth based on legitimate priorities, structural reforms and strategic planning on national level. Growth that should be sustainable and responsible towards future generations. I wish success to this forum.